So, now, under this unit, uh, we we'll evaluate the informal sources of uh, business. The formal and the informal sources of uh, fund. Informal sources of fund uh, come from your personal savings. It comes from friends, friends and family. It comes from credits from the suppliers, F from money lenders. You can borrow from money lenders, from fellow traders, from employees, from relatives or friends. Why do we call them informal? There is no organization which supervises these credit activities. It's something you do. Uh, on a personal basis, maybe depending on your relationship with the lender or the supplier, these are very personal adventure, and they charge more higher rates of interest. So they are informal in the sense that there is no government agency organization that supervises their activities. If you go to a money lender, many money lenders are they are not registered. If they are registered, they should be looked at as uh, financial institutions. Uh, money lenders are uh, neighbors, and uh, uh, we once have, when I was working in, uh, in, uh, in one of the universities, we have a messenger that uh, is a, a money lender in a university. Professors go to borrow from him. At one time, they couldn't pay back, and he was insulting the man like. Uh, rebuking him as he, he was a little child. So when uh, there's no place to report, you can't even go to police. These are money lenders. They are very, very private business. So if you go to money lenders, the outcome of uh, money borrowing from money lenders should be borne alone by the borrower. Then they are informal sources because they are most of the time, personal. And sometimes uh, they end up in gentleman's agreement. Please give me this money. I will pay you when my business is going well. There's no government agency. There's no uh, policeman that comes from a lawyer. But these days, some people try to be a bit smarter by involving a lawyer for such borrowing. Then the formal sources of funds, they are mainly from financial institutions, including cooperative uh, uh, institutions. Uh, they follow the sources of credit, which are registered by government. Government regulate the formal sources of funds. And they, apart from government regulation, they still have their own bylaws that people will meet before they lend them. Apart from uh, the government uh, central bank regulating the banks, their own banks will now have their own policy, internal policy. But the bank policy, that is a monetary policy of the government, is controlled by the central bank. So when you borrow from uh, a registered financial institution, the the problems are leased and uh, they go by the law and the interest rates are minimal. The central bank supervises, like I said, the functions of formal sources of funds. They are generally of a low interest rate. Sometimes, sometimes that is, their main motive is just to help. Not that they are not charging interest, though. the interest will be minimal. If it is a grant, uh, if it is a foundation, if they give people money, it will be, they call it soft loan because the interest is very, very minimal, is to assist those in need. In conclusion, therefore, I say that uh, it is critical to have enough money to sustain your business operation. At least, if you're starting, have money enough to sustain it 
for at least six months to one year before you start uh, looking for money before but before you borrow if you have to try to study all the fine lines because sometimes there are very very critical lines in the borrowing document that people don't is, is listen and that is that the fact that they will compound the unpaid interest if you don't pay the balance plus the interest will form the, the is as if you borrow the gain so that's what the world bank and all those international body that's what they do to third world when they lend them money that's money every time you say they are repaying repaying when you borrow money and you don't pay there is a fine line that they say that unpaid part of the interest will be added to the un unpaid uh, capital and recapitalize so at any point in time you look as if you are just starting payment for the first time so those fine lines need to be looked at before you sign any money to borrow otherwise you borrow your business out of existence i will stop here for now take care